If you want to be in the club, then you have to wear a bra. Oh. Do you, you think you need one? Hello, Margaret. We're here too, and with some great picks for this week. To go along with the book adaptation, minus all that pesky page turning, we're also serving up a World War II action flick, a couple of secret spies with lots of star power, a movie combining martial arts and sisterly love, and the return of the top-ranked show about a half-human, half-deer. You heard that right. Rotten Tomatoes is steering your antlers in the right direction on this week's What to Watch. Just do this one thing for me. We just be normal and regular like everybody else. Just please, 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 please. Turning the page right into theaters is Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. This coming-of-age dramedy is, of course, based on the 1970 Judy Bloom novel of the same name. It stars Abby Ryder Forston as 11-year-old Margaret, along with Rachel McAdams as her mother and Kathy Bates as her grandmother. And yeah, that would be amazing to have those two as your mom and grandma. The film was written for the screen and directed by Kelly Freeman Craig, who teamed up with legendary producer James L. Brooks for this project after previously working together on The Edge of Seventeen. So in other words, this adaptation is in great hands. Early reviews have this one very fresh on the tomato meter with a score of 99% and an audience score hovering around 100%. Those bookworms love their adaptations. Really believe that he's immortal? No, he just refuses to die. How many minds did we bury here? All of them. Also opening in theaters is the historical action flick Sisu. Besides just being fun to say, one reason to give this film a look is the unique premise. It's set in northern Finland during World War II and follows a gold prospector trying to protect his stash from a Nazi death squad. And with popular Finnish filmmaker Yalmari Halander at the helm, Sisu debuted at the Toronto International Film Festival last fall and made an impact on critics, with a strong showing on the tomato meter so far. And don't just take our word for it. Top critic Megan Navarro from Bloody Disgusting said that this movie feels like a gritty actioner of yesteryear, but with a modern sense of style. I wish someone would describe me that way. There's no one else, it's just you and me. Everything you know is a lie. Premiering on Amazon Prime Video is the mystery thriller series Citadel. Now, the first reason to check out this show is a two-parter. Richard Madden and Priyanka Chopra Jonas. I know, right? They play a couple of elite spies who are reactivated to pretty much save the world, as elite spies tend to do. Shout out to all my spy friends that I may or may not have. Another strong resume builder for Citadel is that it was created by David Wheel, who also did the Amazon show Hunters, and it was produced by brothers Joe and Anthony Russo of Marvel fame. Plus, season two has already gotten the green light, so it's okay to fully commit to this one. I know that can be hard for some of you. And while you're watching, it's cool to know that this series will include spin-offs in different languages and set in different countries. They're going global, baby! I found something. I've got my eye on you. They are not taking her away without a fight. Finding its manners on its way into theaters is the action comedy Polite Society. This film focuses on two British-Pakistani sisters. One is a martial artist in training who tries to save the other from her impending marriage by way of an ambitious wedding heist. Gotta love sisters. It was written and directed by Nita Manzoor in her feature film directorial debut after turning heads with the award-winning British sitcom We Are Lady Parts. Polite Society is certified fresh at 93% on the tomato meter after premiering at the Sundance Film Festival earlier this year, with critics using words like fresh and a delight to describe it. So you know, it's gotta be good. Just a matter of time before the whole world learns habits are key to the cure. And when that happens, everyone will want to pay to you. And thankfully having zero effect on your dentist bill this month is the return of the series Sweet Tooth. Okay, couple great things about this show. For one, it's based on a comic book of the same name by Jeff Lemire. And it's about a half boy, half deer living in an apocalyptic world. Um, yes please. Critics were definitely feeling the certified fresh first season, which is at 97% on the tomato meter. And the critics consensus calls it emotionally engaging, superbly acted, and incredibly entertaining. Wow. All that, and it has human slash animal hybrids? And to make this an Iron Man, I mean ironclad case, let's not forget that Robert Downey Jr. and his wife Susan Downey are among the show's executive producers. Nothing like a little behind the scenes firepower. There you go. Another great list of what to watch this week. And the cool thing is, while it does have something for everybody, you'll love it all says a lot about you. And be sure to let us all know in the comments what you did check out, whether it was on this list or not. 
Remember to check out RottenTomatoes.com for the latest updates on scores and reviews for everything mentioned, as well as the movie and TV world at large. And don't forget to stop by the new RT25 page, where we're celebrating 25 years of Rotten Tomatoes. And while you're there, you'll probably notice that we have a brand new card game, putting your mind to the test on 25 years of tomato meter scores. Get five now, you'll have B-Day gifts for the rest of the year, and one for yourself. You're welcome. That's all for today, Fresh Family. Until next week, stay fresh.